How's everybody? Good, good. So, Byron, um, the other day, Tom Brady said, or, uh, Tom Brady said to Mike Silver, you were talking about game planning, and you guys have done this now for three years. And I'm just wondering, like, can you take us through kind of the process? Because he alluded to the fact that, like, Tom, right up until game time, or maybe even, you know, that he's – making changes and, and you guys are kind of like – Start over for me, Rick. Sorry. Go. Start over again. I'm sorry. Sorry. Tom, the game planning. Can you take us through the process of game planning with, with Tom? You've done this for three years, but there was a story that indicated that, you know, that Tom is constantly making changes, meeting with players the night before. Like somehow you guys are kind of following along versus knowing everything that's going on in real time. Like how much – how much is – is done before you get to the stadium, or is there still tweaking going on that you're? Of game day? Game day, yeah. Nah, I don't think that's probably what they meant. Uh, Tom, been we've been having this meeting. Quarterback's been having this meeting. Jameis been having this meeting. So it's no different. So it's no different than anybody. We encourage that as coaches. We encourage this for to be players, y'all communicating all that. But other than that, I don't know how to really answer that because I don't really know what you're asking me. Nothing different. We do the same game planning. Yeah. Me and Tom meet every day. Me and Tom meet every day about the plays, about what's going on. I know exactly what's going on in the meetings, right. but I didn't see the story, though, that really. I probably didn't describe it well, but it was kind of like changes being made right up until, you know what I mean, that maybe you're aware of, maybe you're not. But I know you're aware. I'm aware, I'm aware of everything. Yeah, I'm aware of everything. No, no, no. Is he making changes though on, on Saturday nights when you're meeting with the team? No, we're no, we're getting ready to go at that point. Bruce had talked about when you first got with Tom that you guys build the game plan together, and that's something yeah. that's continued all the way through. Is like how much does is he involved in, in in setting up you know the game plan? Oh, we we're we're involved. We're, I I told you guys this from the beginning. When I was with Jameis, me and Jameis was involved. I'm with Tom, me and Tom involved. So I think that's the way to play in this league. I think that's everything. Uh, me and Tom communicate every day, though. We communicate every day on what we're doing, what we think from a game plan standpoint. So nothing has changed. Status quo. Only thing has changed is that we're not winning as much as we've won in the past. So I'm quite sure this type of stuff happened when these type of things happen. So we just got to win, end the noise, win and fix everything. So nothing, on, nothing that happens on Sunday as far as calling plays or, or anything like that audible? No. Tom hasn't been sacked, obviously. He's a guy that really doesn't get sacked. He gets rid of the ball quickly. But how much has the pressure this year affected what you really want to do with your offense? Uh, no excuses, man. No excuses. We're just not playing better, good enough to win football games. Uh, we got four games left, though. We're in first place. We got four games. That's what I'm preaching to the guys. I don't know how we're still in first place, but we are. <laughs> we're in first place. We'll take it. Uh, a lot of people would love to be in first place sitting at this point. So we got four games, then try to improve, win football games, and try to get in the tournament. That's really how we're approaching it. Uh, great opportunity for us to get some things turned around, get some things fixed, get ourselves rolling. So that's, the only, that's how we're approaching it day in and day out. Byron, do you feel you're getting enough output out of the screen game when it gets called? Has it been effective enough to your liking? Uh, I don't know if anything has been effective enough to my liking because I'm a guy that believes in scoring a bunch of points, and we, we ain't been able to do that. Uh, we've made a living of having big plays, explosive, scoring points. We just ain't got that done this year. Uh, we still got an opportunity, though. We got, Like I said, we got four more games to get this thing turned around the way we want it. Uh, obviously, you win football games however you got to win them, but we want to start playing the way that we know how to play Hopefully we can get that going this week. Does Tom, you, you, you're with him all the time. Does he still have as much arm strength as he had when he came here to be able to throw those, those deep balls? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. What's, what's beating you up right now? I mean, is it, the, is it not running the football? Is it no explosive plays? The penalties obviously have been a story of late. Took off the touchdown. You know, I'm a scoring guy. You guys know what I believe in. Uh, the analytics can't be broken. You got to score in this league to win in 2022. That's the key. Right, but you're not. I know. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get there. I mean, what do you need to do to be able to score? 
I, well, I think we got to be better on third down. Third down, we got to possess the ball. We got to possess the ball and not in a two-minute situation at the end where we're getting all our time of possession at the end of a game. We got to possess the ball on third down to allow our playmakers to consistently make plays. It's too many three and outs, too many four and five plays and outs and punting. We just got to keep the ball. If we can keep the ball with the players we got, we can make unique plays and score points. But you got to execute on a down-in and down-out basis. You got to be more consistent, really, on first, second, third down to give yourself an opportunity to have convert third downs. There's a lot of third downs last week where it's third and 13s, third and 16s. I mean, who are you kidding, right? You're, you're not going to convert in this league consistently enough to win football games, to score points. So, for one, we got to be better on first and second down, more consistent, really, to give ourselves a chance on third down. A lot of those third and 16s, it's tough to convert those in this league. When you have those third down misses and the punt team comes out, when you're at home, you can hear those boobers, I'm sure. Just what, what is that like for you? Uh, it is what it is. It's part of football, part of being in the National Football League. You guys have the second most third downs in the NFL this year, so there's some thought to it's better to avoid third down entirely. Yes. Is that a function of offensive line? Why do you think you're not doing as well on first and second down to even make third down? I think it's everything. I don't think it's one. If it was one thing, I think we would have fixed it by now. So I don't think it's uh, one singular thing. I think it's a group of things that show up throughout a game, and it's not like – heavily one way, one sided, you know, it's a few things here and there. You have four or five of those plays within the game, it puts you in four or five bad third downs. So that's all it really takes. This is a this is very thin line on what success has and what's not successful in this league. So we just gotta do a better job. Byron, in addition to being better on third down, it kinda goes without saying, how much would a faster start just help the rhythm of this offense and the mindset of the offense just starting faster in games? That's the key. That's the key. I think we uh, man, I think we went and got the ball and scored in Cleveland, felt real good about it, felt real good about everything, really. We feel good going into these ball games. It's not like we're going into ball games thinking, man, we're going to score seven points. We, maybe we're fooling ourselves, but we're going into these ball games feeling that we're about to go do what we've always done, put up 30, whatever it takes to win the football game, and we just ain't been able to do that. We got four games left, though. We'll keep working. We'll see where we at. The good thing is we're in first place. We're in for, at the end of the day, we're in first place with an opportunity to make the tournament. So we're going to try to do that. Um, going back to kind of what you just said there, and you said it uh, earlier in this presser where you said, I don't know how we're here, but we're in first. What does that do for a team mentally? Maybe to be in a position where there's still something to play for, but obviously it hasn't been. You know, it's like you don't have that feeling of, like, we've dominated to get here. What does that do for a team? The great thing for us is everything that we talked about in May, June, July is still in front of us. I know it may not feel like that way to people outside us, but in that locker room, everything that we said we wanted to do this year is still in front of us. And that's a blessing in itself, to be honest with you. So we just going to understand that, be aware of that. Make sure we don't miss the moment. Make sure we don't hear too much of the noise where we miss the moment. We got four games. I'm preaching this, the same thing to them. We got four games to get better, to get to where we think we need to be. That's all we're going to worry about, and that's all our focus is going to be. Has the game plan kind of remained the same for most of the season? Obviously, you're changing based on who you're playing, but as far as you, know, you, you have had trouble scoring, have you thought about being more aggressive earlier in games, earlier in drives? Uh, we think about that every week, every game. I'm really thinking about that. I never imagined you know, people saying, I need to be more aggressive, right? <laughs> so that's, 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 that's thought of all the time. That's thought of all the time. What are some of the strengths? Well, we, we are in first place, and we're doing some things well, but it's just not showcasing itself because of what we're not doing well. So we feel as though we, got, we do some things that's above the line. We got to find a way to get the things that we're not above the line on better, to get to the line. It don't have to be above the line, but it can't be below the line. So we're working on those things. Byron, you've talked about scoring more points throughout the season. What gives you confidence you can do that these final four games? Because we've done it. We've done it. Um, We've done it before. We just haven't done it this year, but we've done it. Byron, Sunday, you guys were down 21, 28 points, and there's still a heavy dose of screen passes. Do you guys think of that as 
an extension of the run game? That's an extension that, of the run game. And, and just a, a safe throw as opposed to going down the Extension field? of the run game. All screens has always been an extension of the run game. Do you feel like you have enough speed on this offense? I mean, the, that you're using that much? Scotty Moore didn't play much or Brashad or now you have, you know, Hopkins who you use. Like, could you add some speed that would help you? I think speed helps all the time, but I do think we have enough. Okay. Anything else? All right, guys, have a good one.